Hello, this is Brian Casey of Casey Insights, and we are here at day three of the JP Morgan Healthcare Conference and the Biotech Showcase. Uh, I'm pleased to have with us today Dr. Olga Kubasova. She is founder and CEO of IAG, Image Analysis Group. Olga, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Now, you, we, we met a few years ago at a JP Morgan meeting, and you, you told me about something that at the time, to me, was really novel, which was the use of, of medical imaging in research trials. And, and you kind of opened my eyes to that, and since then, I've realized what a big part of the clinical research industry medical imaging has become. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes, absolutely. So Image Analysis Group has been founded since 2007 mm -hmm. and uh, we've been always specializing in medical imaging and of course right now FDA requires imaging as a part of the clinical development process to prove efficacy of the drugs at earlier phase. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to wait for survival, you can replicate the efficacy effect by using imaging or in some very complicated conditions like glioblastoma or osteoarthritis where we're looking at real imaging based manifestations, imaging is the must have biomarker. So if a, if a company is developing let's say a therapeutic drug for lung cancer, um, they can have a clinical trial be administering this to patients and use imaging to find out if that drug is working while the trial is going on as opposed to measuring survival or some other metric. You introduce imaging as an interim endpoint uh, which will be a surrogate endpoint to survival. So especially mm. in cancer you're looking at the tumor size mm -hmm. but uh, imaging could also be used in multiple ways. Mm -hmm. So in cancer, you would take a simple CT scan to understand if there is a tumor. Mm -hmm. And in a simple way, you can just draw a line across the tumor and say this is the diameter of the tumor and you're looking at that change. Mm -hmm. Or you can introduce more advanced way of looking at exactly the same images. Mm -hmm. So you would look at the volumetric change of the tumor, which makes your measurements much more sensitive and much more predictive mm -hmm. of survival. Got it. So cancer is one of those fascinating areas where we're all trying to make a change and I think yep. imaging is extremely important right. there. Now what is IAG's role in all of this? What kind of thing do you, what, what kind of service do you provide? Sure. Um, so IAG uh, initially was founded with an idea to look at the quantitative imaging in drug development. Mm -hmm. So we focused on developing methodologies mm -hmm. which will bring novel insights into how the drugs work. Mm -hmm. That was at the very beginning. And then we realized that the whole process of management of imaging in a clinical trial is highly inefficient. Mm -hmm. So we created our own software platform called mm -hmm. Dynamica. Dynamica? And Di yeah. Dynamica, yeah. yes. Dynamica is a platform which allows you to manage data, imaging mm -hmm. data, mm -hmm. in a global trial settings. Mm -hmm. So firstly, collect the data in a reliable way, in a compliant way. Mm -hmm look at the quality of that data in real time and then analyze the data using standard FDA required methodologies as well as novel AI driven methodologies. Mm. So Dynamica sits right in the center of the trial with our team which is now based in London, US mm -hmm. and Asia yeah. doing the service and supporting the documentation of the trial, supporting the insights with the sites, communicating yeah. about heterogeneity yeah. Yeah. of the protocols and so on. And so your customers, are they researchers? Are they pharmaceutical companies? So we work with a number of biotech and pharmaceutical companies. We have some publicly announced partnerships with big pharma companies mm -hmm. and some biotechs mm -hmm. where we even develop joint IP or diving into even and deeper insights about their drugs. Great. But day to day, it's a, it's a trial after trial after trial. Yeah. The company has delivered hundreds of them by now. And, <laughs> and you've been growing really rapidly. We have. So this is a year after COVID. So yeah. we have again 100% growth since 2000. So we've been doing 100% a year, wow. year on year, wow. for many years. And COVID slowed us down to 30% a year. Yeah. And so the 2022 was incredible, back to 100%. Okay, and here at JP Morgan, what are you doing? Well, we love our customers to start off with. Yeah. So we're speaking to many biotech and pharma who we're already working with. And we're thinking with them about their pipeline. We're really thinking how can we accelerate the entire pipeline of development and make sure that whenever they think about a new indication, or whenever they think about positioning their assets slightly differently, we're there to support with data. 
Great. And of course then we have a lot of partnerships both with venture capital firms, private equity, uh, a lot of investors asking us to look at the data prior to the investment. So it's a great place to be. Awesome, it sure is. Well, Olga, thanks so much for being with us and good luck here at JP Morgan. Thank you very much. All right. Signing off from the JP Morgan Healthcare Conference and Biotech Showcase, my name is Brian Casey.